So originally I wanted to finish with this part of the video, but I changed my mind while editing and I want to start off with some few words of thanks. I want to take some minutes to really express my gratitude to the game, to the developers, to the community, to my friends. Um, also sorry for the bad translation here on screen. Uh, I'm still learning Japanese and it's really not an easy language to master. They so yeah, have been with this game for over 10 years. And yes, I started with 1.0, so actually it's even more than 10 years. And it was always worth playing, in my personal opinion. It's always a joy to look in, play and have fun. Be it in a quick duty roulette, or doing maps with friends, or when challenging solo content like you know, Deep Dungeons. The music, the story, the community, everything that was built and continues to expand. It's just a joy and I feel blessed and honored to have been allowed to witness this for so long. So thank you, thank you very much. Honto ni arigato gozaimasu. Fremo, merci beaucoup. Vielen, vielen herzlichen Dank. This year was a, a rough one for me personally. Um, next to personal things like way too much work and one of my family members being really sick and needing a lot of attention and time, I was unlucky with not getting the tickets for neither the EU Fan Festival nor the EU Orchestra Concert. I was lucky to attend the last three uh, European fan festivals. They always were and they always are amazing and I had hoped to join a fourth time, but sadly it's not going to happen this year. Additionally, because I live in Switzerland and because we have some very weird gambling laws, I am not allowed to take part in many of the celebration giveaways for the fan fest as well as the 10 year anniversary. This, however, won't hold me back from making content and submitting it regardless. I'm sorry about that, but I will still do it. Obviously, that will only happen if I have the time next to caring for my family and my work. But I will continue to work on videos, on art, on music and my various websites. And I will do my best to support the community in game as well as the game itself. This game, yes, it, it means a lot to me for more than a decade already. It's been a safe haven when I needed some time for myself or a, a pick-me-up when I lacked energy. And I want to show my appreciation and give as much back as I can. So again, thank you very much and on to many, many more adventures. And now, finally, uh, my gameplay for the Rising Event 2023. Here we go! Siblings Rising. Oh, if it isn't Mingno. It's always a pleasure, my friend. And how fortuitous that you should appear now just when I'm in need of help again. Pray hear me out. Actually, just a sec, I have an idea. There we go. Mia Bath, the artwork. That's that's bad, I think. Oh, the way is it? That's that's the wrong one. That's the right one. There we go. That's that's the correct the correct image, I think. Yeah, that's, that's a quick one. Okay, sorry. You see, my brother recently wrote about saying that he wished to meet me in Uldar during the Rising Celebration. Wait a sec. I thought she had a sister, or is she the sister? Am I, am I? 
somehow flipping some things around. I think I do. Anyway, however, the appointment hour has come and gone, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. I've checked all the likely places in the city to no avail, and I'm beginning to worry. If it's too much... If it's too much trouble... If it isn't too much trouble, may I ask you to help me find him? Sure. I'm in debt. Now, my brother is a youth of 16 by the name of Nagi. He recently became an adventurer, something he had inspired to since he was little. Being an adventurer yourself, perhaps you know of him, if not crossed paths. Actually, yeah, now I do. Now I, now I remember, it's, it's the one that we last year introduced to all the adventuring stuff. Where we actually gave him the guide through the city, not the other way around. That we got the guide. Let's see. We met at the previous rising, yeah. Not only did you meet him, you helped him on his way, you say? What an amazing coincidence. That being said, it doesn't necessarily mean you would know where he is now. Yeah, true. If he isn't in a city, though, chances are he went outside on some business. What the heck? Spawning right on top of me? Really? To begin with, I propose we split up and make an inquiries uh, in case someone has seen him. If you could focus on this area, I shall speak with those in the quicksand. Afterwards, let us reconvene and by the entrance to the tavern. Okay, let's see. There's someone over here. Midlander rising attendant speaking to Nonora. Oh! Can I see it there? Oh, you're the venture who helped with the bug infestation some years ago, are you not? It's a pleasure to see you again. Wait, bug? Bug infestation? When was that? That was so long ago. <laughs> I hardly remember. Lest you wonder, as part of Horizon Celebration, we are currently preparing an, an exciting game for your enjoyment. It will take a little longer, however, and we ask for your patience in the meantime. Yeah, I did hear about a, a Moogle mini-game of some sorts. I didn't look too far into it, but I think they said something about that. Let's see. Middle Lander Rising Attendant. Greetings, adventurer. How may I assist you? I'm looking for her sister, Nagi's sister. Nagi, I mean, brother, not sister. Ah, it's too early in the morning, anyway. Oh, Nagi, I understand he is doing some work for the Wandering Minstrel. I dare say his client can point you in the, direc in the right direction. If you can track the man down, that is. I'm afraid I don't know his whereabouts at present. Okay, so the Minstrel has something to do with it. And yeah, by the way, Ulda on Balmonk is always this busy. Just so you know. Uh, wait, this way. I mean, that that's... You may have heard rumors, but yeah, that is the truth. That's how Ulda looks like on Balmonk. Anyway. Highland Adventurer. Hmm, something you need. Oh, Nagi. Hi. I know this bringy lad. Couldn't say where he is now, but last I saw him, he mentioned taking on some delivery work. He's a curious one, he is. Gets along with everyone well enough, but doesn't seem to like working in a team. Oh, with talk of bandits prowl in the road of late, I can't help but worry. Oh, not good. Let's see. Oh, there are a lot of people up here. But that's probably the ones that have done the quest. Let's see. Run! Well, slap me silly with a harbor herring if it isn't the adventurer gave his gaze a story for the ages by herring in that letter in a bottle way back when. So what can Brand do for you this fine evening? 
I see, with apologies, I haven't seen this, Nagi. As a matter of fact, I've been rather busy working on my upcoming piece on the rising. Why just earlier I was invest interviewing the ever enigmatic wonder wandering minstrel, who's got another unusual adventure in the often the latter forest he calls it. Hmm. If that piques your interest, I recommend you go and see the man. He's at the gold court over on the steps of Thal. It appears Nagi is carrying out some work for the wandering minstrel. If you talk to the man at the gold court, you should be able to learn more. In the middle, okay. So he should be over here. Let's see. Well, he doesn't really load in. There he is. Yeah. He's looking up. Oh yeah. Ah, those are the letters. The letters here. Yeah. Wonder what kind of letters those are. Ah, my dear friend, what a pleasant surprise this is. I trust you have been keeping well. Now then, how might this minstrel be of service? I'm looking for Nagi, you sent him out. So Nagi's sister wishes to find him. Indeed, I have entrusted him with a task and have an inkling as to where he might be. As you may have heard, on the occasion of this rising celebration, I am hosting an exhibition called The Letter Forest. All are invited to anonymously submit letters to this forest and express their gratitude and encouragement for another, and all may pursue the letters at their leisure. Now, in order to collect missives from outside of Ulta, I have dispatched a chocobo carriage. Nagi is escorting the carriage. When he contacted me on Link Pearl a while ago, he said that they had emerged from the Twelfth Wood on their way back to Ulda, given the other should have already arrived. I know not what is causing the delay, but might I trouble you to look for them? I would go myself, expect I'm needed here present. Okay. I'm truly grateful. In case it helps, the carriage was meant to pass through Blackbrush Station, so perhaps you could take your search to that area. I pray that nothing has befallen them. Well... Oh yeah, first let's head back over there and uh, tell her what's going on. There she is. There you are. Very able to learn all of Nagi. Yeah, all the things. Escorting a carriage for the minstrel, so that is the way of it. I suggested let us take ourselves to Blackbrush Station and try searching in the vicinity. There is a mob here, so I guess that's where I have to go. A merchant. I uh, need to get help. Mingno no sooner than arrived that this man came running out of breath. The Marie times are coming back. Your adventure, thank the twelve. It's the bandits from the Quiveren Menace. They have fallen on a chocobo carriage over by the clutch. The carriage only had one guard and he was sorely outnumbered. Please, you must help him. That has to be Nagi with me, Mingno. Oh. Cutscene. Damn it, there's no need. There's no end of them. There's no end to them. We have one now, you stubborn little shite. Ha! Now with me. Coming along. Enough, leave my little brother alone, or twelve has my witness. You'll receive such a thrashing as you've never known. From this fearsome adventurer here, that is. <laughs> Not a problem. <sighs> 
That that's not all we man. Retreat. Yeah, you better run. Are you right, Nagi? Sister and Mingna too. That should be the one to that you should be the one to come to my aid. Thank you. Uh why is there an um? No. How have you been, Nagi? You remember? I've been well, more than well. I'm sorry I didn't come when I said I would, sister. Rest assured, I'm not too badly hurt. That's a relief. I'll take a proper look at your wounds back in the city. I must say I was quite surprised to learn that you had met Ming, no? He helped me when I first arrived in Ulda. From registering as an adventurer to completing my first task, he kindly showed me the ropes. Now, I had suspected that you were a great adventurer, but to send your foes running without even drawing your weapon, that's just incredible. I still have a long way to go, embarrassing myself like I did. If I want sister's approval, I need to grow stronger and be able to fight on my own. My approval? Ah, uh, first thing first. Brent and I have delivered have a delivery to make to the rising. If you'll excuse us, we will hurry back to Ulda. Let us head back as well. I had a mind to pay to the minstrel I had a mind to pay the minstrel a visit in any case. I mean, maybe we should guide them, but... Oh, already back. Keepy. Thank you. Thanks to you. Save Nagi is safe. Still, what he said about making it on his own weighs on my mind. Sister has none too gentle dressing my wounds. Sister was not too, too gentle dressing my wounds. Perhaps she's annoyed I didn't show up as promised. I uh, don't think that's the case. Minstrel. Welcome back, my friends. Pleased am I to see that Nagi is safe and well. Rising attendants informed me that they now have all the letters. With this, we may proceed with the letter forest as planned. Thank you, Nagi. I'm sorry I'm late. You see, there were bandits, etc., etc. Well, oh, sorry. Were it not for Ming, now there is no telling what might have become of the letters and Brent. In the end, I was utterly useless. So that is how it happened. As Nagi's client, allow me to thank you as well for coming to his aid. That being said, my boy, you are far from useless. Hey, you bravely defended the carriage until I have arrived. There is no need to belittle yourself, sir. Well, Mainwa didn't need to rely on anyone. No, he drove off the bandits with nary more than a stern look. I couldn't hold a candle to him. Like him, I want to be able to deal with any problems without help. Otherwise, I can't claim to be an adventurer worth his salt. So that's the issue. Without help. Tell me, Nagi. All this time, have you been working alone, even for dangerous tasks? That's right. A trustworthy adventurer does need rely on others. If I'm to be the kind of adventurer you approve of, I must be able to handle anything by myself. I see. If 
that is what you believe, then I can't consent to you being an adventurer any longer. Return to your village and start over. Well, but you were so happy for me when I became an adventurer. I'm working so hard to succeed to prove to you that I have what it takes, but now... You have developed a grave misconception. Until you recognize what it is, I can't in good conscience approve of your calling. Yeah, I actually already know what she means, but let's see if Nagi actually will fan it out himself. If you can't accept this, if you wish to remain an adventurer, then you must win me over. And it begins with pondering why you first embarked upon this path. Alright sister, I'll think on this. She is pretty tough, but I think it's for his best to be honest. It appears Kip he wants her brother to rethink what adventuring is to him. Had the question been posed to you, what answer would you arrive at, I wonder? Well, I know he shouldn't rely only on himself. I'm sorry you had to say it, see that, Mingna. Despite how it may have appeared, no one wants my brother to, to succeed more than I do. To succeed and be happy. After all, I know better than any how hard he works. Unless he changes his ways, however, he is like to die somewhere out there. And even if he managed to stay alive, he would only know an orgious life. That's why I didn't go out of my way to be gentle when dressing his wounds. No. If he could just focus on what actually matters. Instead, he obsesses about gaining my approval and compares himself to others. Ah, sight. There we see it, yeah. What drives us? Kibichak is again looking over its sister. And here we have it. Nimeya Popuri, okay. And Rising Phoenix Whistle. Truth be told, no matter what Naki wants to do, it is my intent to support him. It's his life, after all, and no one else's. It isn't my place to interfere. Be that as it may, if he is sabotaging his own aspirations with his obsession for my approval, I can't simply stand idly by and watch. Though though I am to impose until my brother has found his answer, might I trouble you to keep an eye on him? Sure. Please take it as a request from me as well. Ever has adventuring been dangerous and it is more dangerous still for one who spurs help. Like Kipi, do not wish for Nagi to continue on his I do not wish for Nagi to continue on his current path. As a fellow adventurer, please help him find a better way. Thank you. Now then, on related matter, I must pay a visit to the Weaver's Guild, but I will see you again anon. If you'll excuse me. Nagi set off this way, so you may find him at the Sapphire Adv Avenue exchange. We leave him in your cable hands, my friend. I'm sorry. I need to drink something. Always stay hydrated. Be it gratitude or encouragement or sympathy, each of these letters bears the wishes of one soul for another. For Nagi to work so hard to see them delivered at heart, I do not believe he rejects connections with others. Nay, something to rise him to believe and behave as he does. Greetings and welcome to the Leather Forest. Displayed here are messages of gratitude and encouragement. Which folk the realm over have anonymously written? 
It comes as no surprise, but no few messages are addressed to adventurers. Now, we're still in the midst of preparing, but I should be pleased to guide you when all is in readiness. Please return it on. There we go, Nagi. Oh, it's you. Ming no, what is it? Is that so? I'm sorry. This is really something I should be doing alone. Still, it's nice to have someone to talk to. Like my sister babe me, I'm pondering why I chose to become an adventurer in the first place. Kipi has looked after me since I was no more than 10, after her parents passed away. She was already a reporter by then, and her work took her to various places. From her I heard tales about adventurers and came to admire them. Upon learning of the full extent of the impending calamity, she took us to a village in the mountains where our aunt lived. It's desperate times like these that people need stories of hope, she used to say, and I believe she had wanted to remain in Gridania and continued her work, but she left in order to keep me safe. I was burdened to her then. I don't want to be a burden to her again. For that I need to show her that I don't need to depend on others. That I'm capable adventurer that I'm a capable adventurer who can handle anything by himself. Ponder as I might, I can't understand what's wrong with that. Well, it Well, when in doubt I suppose I should do what adventurers do and gather information. It would be good, I think, to speak with people like my sister. People who aren't adventurous, but are familiar with them. Hmm, who in Ulda would fit that description? Adventurous guild. Pervert information, business. Uh, adventurous girl, let's go there. Of course, who else but Miss Momodi? In her capacity as a guild representative, she's bound to have some valuable insights. I'll seek her out at once. Good thing I have a new graphics card because usually in here it's really stuffed with people. As you can see, that's the case again. So what do you have to say for me, Nagi? And we have some other music too. I still remember when I first came here to sign up, I was nervous wreck then. I was a nervous wreck then, but now this place feels like a second home. And I come all the time for crumpets. They make them so springy and serve them brownie in butter and honey. S sorry, now isn't the time for that. Come, let's have a chat with Miss Mamodi. Well now, if it isn't Ming no and Naki. To what do I owe the pleasure of both your companies today? I was hoping to get your advice on a certain matter. You see, my sister is angry and I don't know why. The misconception you've developed about being an adventurer, that's an interesting one, I have to admit. Try as I might to figure it out, I keep going around in circles. I thought you might be able to offer some insight. Hmm. This is just a gut feeling, but I reckon I understand what your sister is trying to say. Tell me, Nagi, suppose you failed to get your sister's approval, would you simply give, give up on being an adventurer? Would it all become meaningless? That's a good question. From this here counter, I've 
indeed a scene of many an adventurer, each and every one unique with dreams and destinations all their own. But in spite of their differences, they all share something in common, a reason to first embarking upon their journey. Mingna, will you mind telling us why you chose the adventure in life? Hmm. That's a good question. And I think I'm gonna say a secret. Huh. Let's see, my, my, my personal reason. I came over from 11 and I thought 14 looked enticing. Um, of course, I'm st speaking about 1.014, which I could play early because of the, the alpha, the closed alpha tests, and it, it looked okay, but I hoped it would become something even better, and I want to help to make it a better place. Um, so because none of the others fit, I have to go with secret. Yeah, I still want this place to be even better than it is right now. I would love to help develop it even further, but so far, sadly I couldn't. Or not as much as I hoped. So let's go to secret, even though I just told you what it is. The people in game don't know that I'm actually a player outside. If you're this kind to share, then I won't pry. To look at you, though, it's plain you've got a proper reason. Keep it close to your heart now, you hear? And you, Nagi, what inspired you to become an adventurer? It's simple, really. I heard about adventures from my sister and became infuriated with the lives they led. Like them, I wanted to be able to see the world while helping those in need. Then isn't that enough? Your sister's approval or no, you have a reason all your own. By the 12 I see now, at some point my desire to prove myself to Kipi had displaced my own motive for being an adventurer. That's the misconception Kipi wanted me to recognize, what a fool I've been. Well, not only that, but it's part of it, I think. Wanting someone's approval isn't wrong in and of itself, mind. But it's got nothing to do with why you're an adventurer. It shouldn't force you to do things you wouldn't otherwise do, like trying to handle everything alone. Well, that's enough from me for today. I've said my piece. What you do now is up to you, Nagi. Thank you for helping me realize, Miss Modi. Think nothing of it, it's my job to watch over you all. Nothing makes me happier than to see you happy doing what you do. Thank you. Thank you to Mingno for accompanying me. I think I know what to say to Kippy now. And loath though I am to trouble you again, there's something else I would like your help with. You see, the you see, of the letters we collected in Limsum Linsa, one was from an explorer who was seeking an escort for an expedition. But now the letter should be on display at the gold court. I want to show it to my sister and I would be grateful if you could help me find it. Come, let's rejoin the minstrel. Oh? Nagi? Now, where is that letter? And her sister is still over in the... Wither's Guild, probably. Oh, welcome back. There, I hope you were able to find the answer. Yes, I'm happy to say. 
Miss Momodi helped me to come to a realization, and when I go to speak with my sister. No, when I got. Did he already? No, when I go to speak. I did read this correctly. I see, I see. By all means, feel free to borrow the letter. Does it have any distinguishing characteristics? As I recall, there was a large drawing of a blue choker on it. Very well. Let us all search together, the more swiftly to find it. A blue chocobo, okay. Well, one over here is, is a little bit of a shield. No, it's not that one, but let's see. As someone charged with the city's peace, I cannot overstate how much of a boon adventurers are to our efforts. Some folk had expressed concerns that an increase in drifters would see a corresponding rise in crimes. But on the contrary, they are steadily declining. Churches, soldiers like ourselves are somewhat limited in the scope of our duties and we are not always available to lend our citizens what assistance they need. Thus would I take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to adventurers who step up to fill the void. Hmm. Well, the contents ring a bell. This letter wasn't written by an explorer, nor does it bear a drawing of a blue chocobo. It isn't the missive Nagi is looking for. Letter of a shield, a shield. It could be Ulda, but it could also be from... from Ishgard. Can't quite say. That one's the chocobo, or any more? Wait, a chocobo carriage, that's not the... probably not the one we need, but let's go. Dear not so new adventurer, as a traveling merchant I've had my fair share of happy encounters, but sharing a carriage with you stands out above them all. <laughs> we know what this one who this one is from. Or I know. For you see, I went on to sell veritable crate loads of the ring I gave you. And turned enough of a profit to buy my own carriage. You shared with me your adventurous luck, and I count my blessings every day. No matter where I go, I often hear tell of your exploits, and it makes me inordinately proud to have met you. Till we meet again, my friend, I pray for your continued safety and success. But the contents ring a bell, this letter wasn't written by an explorer, nor bears it the drawing of a blue chocobo. Yeah, that one is clear who this one's from. Let's see. Oh, letter with a blue chocolate about Ryan. Hmm. Not on the actual letter, but at least it says there. Dear adventurer, how far is your journey? Mine continues, and I wake up to the sounds of birdsong and lay down to sleep beneath the moonlight as I seek unblazed trails. Oh, here we go. Long ago, when adventurer aided me, I was made to realize how alike we are. Deep down, we are simply travelers who thrilled to make new discoveries. And thus do I write this letter now, in hopes of recruiting some like-minded souls to join me on an expedition. If you at all share my in my desire to make the uncharted charted, then I invite you to seek me out at the drowning venge in Limsa Limsa. Eagerly do I await your coming. Must be the one missing. Okay. No, 
No look over here so far. How about you? A little bit blue chocolate. Adorned with a hand drawn picture of a chocobo, this letter invites adventurers to take part in an exploratory expedition. Yep, that one. A blue chocobo, yes, this is the one. All that's left then is to talk to Kippy. Do you know where she is? Yeah, in the Weaver's Guild. Yeah, I'm sure in the Weaver's Guild. Saying that she had business there. Hmm, perhaps she's buying clothes. At any rate, I'll look for her there. Thank you. For this too, I'm a trouble to, to accompany Nagi. Of the wards, I ask that you tell me how events unfold. I shall await you at the Ruby Road Exchange. In his usual place. Okay, let's see. Why is he waiting out here? You're here too, Mingno. I must confess, I'm feeling rather nervous. So I appreciate your presence. That's why he's out here. Oh, the music is friendly. Oh dear, you came to find me. My apologies for taking so long. So Nagi, were you able to find the answers? I, to begin with, I want you to look at this. The letter? An explorer is assembling an escort for an expedition. Certainly sounds exciting. In wanting your approval, I was determined not to rely on others. But a part of me daily wanted to be part of the expedition. To go where I dare not set foot alone. So I've decided I will that I will answer the invitation. Then this means you've given up on not trying to do everything alone. I had wanted to prove to you that I'm capable. That I'm no longer a burden, and in my obsession I lost sight of why I became an adventurer in the first place. To see what lies beyond the horizon, and lend a helping hand to those I meet. That's what drives me, and I was able to remember this thanks to Miss Momodi and Mingno. And whether or not you approve, I want to continue adventuring, for my own reasons. Is is that all right with you? <laughs> That's actually cute. Didn't you just say you didn't need my approval? But to be clear, I have never actually intended to stop you. Do you remember what you once told me, Nagi, shortly before the calamity struck? Did you interview adventurers again today? What were they like? What kind of places have they been to? Heh, <laughs> you never get sick of hearing about adventurers, do you? Never ever, when I grow up, I want to be an adventurer too. Well, that's... F that's as fine as a... S again. Well, that's as fine an aspiration as any, but do you know what kind of adventurers you wish to become? A hero like in the tales, perhaps? Oh, no, sister, not a hero. Adventurers are free spirits, and I want to be the freest spirit of all. Oh yes, I'll travel the world and meet lots of people, and when I visit home, you can interview me as much as you like. <laughs> For that boy to spur help for want of my approval, I couldn't bear to see it, and in order to bring you to your senses I may have spoken a little sternly. As an adventurer you'll experience no small amount of hardships, but you choose your path because you want it to be free. So don't let yourself be shackled by expectations, be it your own or that of others. Instead, take things as they come. So, as long as you are true to yourself and recognize your limits, you'll surely find a way forward. 
And remember, not even heroes can accomplish everything alone. Relying on others doesn't make you a lesser adventurer. If anything, the freer we are, the more we need to look out for one another. And that, I believe, is the essence and beauty of adventuring. Wouldn't you agree, Ming, now? Precisely. I'm gonna go with that one. Wholeheartedly. Understood, Kippy. I won't ever forget this. Knowing you, I expect you're raring to answer the explorer's petition in Limsalaminsa. You'll be taking an airship, yes? In which case, I will give these garments to you now. I had them made for you, thinking it was past time you had something better. For me? Thank you, sister. I must thank you to Ming now. You're the kind of adventurer I admire, and I'll keep on working hard to be like you. I couldn't have asked for a better person to watch over my little brother. I appreciate everything you've done for him and look forward to meeting you again, be it for a story or something else. With that, we take our leave of you. Till next time. Actually, wouldn't it be nice if this invitation would be for Dawn Trail and that we would see him alongside us? It actually would be nice. You see the siblings off, safe in the knowledge that all will be well. Time to rejoin the wandering minstrel and rely to him the tells happy conclusion. So then, what will happen now? Welcome back, my friend. Judging by your expression, I take it all is well with Nagi and Kippy. Yeah, it is. I see. Pleased am I to hear that. When we first set out on our journeys, it is usually for the simplest of reasons. Yet as we make our way, those reasons may become lost in a haze of motives, causing us to lose sight of what truly matters. In such a time, if we can but remember what promoted us to take our first step, we will always find the strength to take the next. Nagi shall be fine, I'm certain of it. My thanks for keeping an eye on him. These events have inspired a new verse in me. A verse about the dreams of those who seek new worlds and the hopes of those who see them off. And for people that actually see the rising event the first time, they are also always a kind of tease for what is to come with the next part of the story, with the next expansion. That's why he speaks of the new worlds, of the new world that we will go to in Dontrell. So let's see what happens now. Oh, that's a new place. An airship. I would have thought a, a ship on sea, but... Greetings, warrior of light. This is a world that exists outside of your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by your weary mind? Perhaps, or perhaps not. It is a pleasure to meet you again. As I have in the past, I have beckoned you here that I might express my gratitude. Naoki Yoshida. Ten years have now passed since the world was reborn from its ashes, since we set forth upon this journey. Countless things have happened during that time, 
and I've had the pleasure of meeting many an adventurer along the way. If truth be told, it wasn't always, it hasn't always been easy. There are moments when I wonder why I must struggle so, days when I'm tempted to cast it all aside. <laughs> Only natural. But in spite of this, I always manage to carry on, and it is thanks to my wonderful comrades, and to you, our esteemed adventurers. By now, I must have been regaled with tens of thousands of your tales. You usually share them with a smile, but even when it is with a frown, you tell me that you are still enjoying yourself. There's no exaggeration to say that I derive all of my driving force from you all. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. <laughs> no, thanks you. Really, thank you. Ours is an unending journey and nothing would make me happier than if we could keep walking it together. As you make your way, we promise that we will ever be at your side, matching your step for step. Now, the time has come for this vision to end. Time for your eyes to open from this waking dream. Already? Much time has passed since the world was reborn from its ashes. Countless souls have made this place their home. Every single one has left an imbedable mark upon it. it. Here we are. The Phoenix. Together we have built this world, and it is our sincerest hope that we shall continue to do so for many years to come. So please be safe and well. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. With our new mount. And we are back. I dare say Nagi is aboard the airship by now. I pray that he and Kipi will find happiness upon their respective path upon their respective paths. I hope you do as well, my friend. If you would lend me an ear, I would dedicate these verses to the future, to your future. So let's see. Oh, his new clothes. Oh. Not this song. For those that don't know, that's my favorite song from 1.0. By morning light the journey starts. A thrill of hope within our heart. On westernly winds to river song into the world where we belong. Both fields of white and ashy sky. Both fields of white and ashy sky. Sunsets storm a crimson fire. Jewels a glitter on pitch black veil. A new day dawn, so goes the tale. That's for the four expansions that we had. By eternal wind we carry on. Boldly towards a golden morn, with memories as a guiding star, shining our steps both near and far. We 
Where you will go, whom you will meet, what you will see. There is no telling what the future holds for anyone. Yet come what may, I bid you never forget this. The bonds you forge, the memories you make and the footprints you leave behind, they shall one day spur you forward. So pray continue walking your own path. Wherever your journey leads, I shall be praying for your happiness. Thank you. I will. With memories shared, yet all our own, as we, as one we brave frontiers unknown. Thank you for ten years. <laughs> Aww, that was sweet. Even more if you have been with the game for ten years or more, like me.